my name's Anisha and I'm going to be doing the abiding reflection for today. I'm going to be talking about disappointment and change because I feel like it's something that I've had to deal with this year and a lot of people have had to deal with in the past two years, whether it be with your job, relationships, school, the whole thing. And it's been really stressful, but a verse that has been on my heart for especially the past two weeks has been Psalm 118.24 that says this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it and i think that that verse just speaks so much to me because we have to remember that every single day is a day another day that god has given us to live and when we're disappointed and we're so wallowed in this this sorrow and this sadness of why why did this happen to me why why did it have to be me and and why my life and why is everything so difficult for me to achieve but it's so easy for this person we have to remember that God has walked before everything and he has seen everything before we have. And that's why sometimes that disappointment is allowed in your life because it's for a reason and it's for a good reason. And God will always do everything for your good. And we have to remember that. So I always am so adamant on choosing joy. And I think that it, we have to just be patient and remember that. And I think that I always notice as well is that a lot of us can struggle with not being heavenly minded and I've had to stop myself and and be like Amisha stop hoping in this world because this world will always disappoint you and God never changes it literally says in the Bible Jesus is the same today yesterday and forever and change can make us feel scared but God says my character never changes ever and you don't have to worry about that so um, along with choosing joy, I always think about Proverbs um, 1722 that says a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So it literally says in the Bible that a cheerful heart is good medicine. Now, what better medicine is there than medicine that the Bible tells us? And um, just to rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer, Romans 12 verse 2, something that always speaks to me as well when I'm disappointed. I was really disappointed this year because I didn't get to go to my dream college. I'd gone in and everything and it didn't really work out for me and um, I was disappointed and I kept praying and I kept saying, God, why me? Why does everybody tell me, you know, God puts his strongest people in in situations that are difficult but then i always think why do i have to be that person and we always will ask those questions and god will answer them but it's not going to always be right away and it's not going to always be the next day we will find out soon enough and in time and along with that caused a lot of worry for me just a lot of change a lot of things that i wasn't prepared for i was prepared to do music my entire life i wasn't prepared to go to a college and not pursue music. I was scared to move away from my family. I'm about to move away on Friday and change is just a big thing that a lot of people struggle with recently. And so a verse that sticks with me for change is um, Matthew 6, 25 that says, and I know this is a very popular one um, that many people know of, but Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear, is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. And that is so true. It, I even relate to it with just picking out an outfit. I think about that verse all the time. And whether you're in the situation where you just lost your job, or unfortunately a family member of yours is sick or passed away or you didn't get into the school you wanted to or you're unhappy with your life right now i want you to realize that god has walked before you and he says not to worry about it and again he says rejoice in the day that he has made and so i encourage like everybody to wake up tomorrow and just be like I'm not going to be disappointed anymore. I'm going to choose joy because God gives me the ability to choose joy today and to remember that I'm not on, we're not on this earth for or permanently. So don't get comfortable in here and it's going to disappoint us. Sometimes it can be like that for me too and it can really make me feel discouraged. But I think that we just have to remember that God has walked before everything and that he has a plan for everything. And it's really as simple as that. I think that we always hear people say, 
God has a plan, God has a plan. And then we're like, yeah, yeah, God has a plan. But we don't actually sit there and think, wow, God does have a plan. He really does have a plan and he really does have a purpose for every single thing that he allows in your life or the doors that he shuts. And I think when that door shut for you, whether it be with your job or relationship or anything or school, when that door shut for you, that just means that God didn't want you to walk through that door. And also he heard conversations that we didn't hear. And that's a big thing I like to think too with disappointment and changes. Like if, you know, somebody might have said something that you wouldn't have been happy to hear and, and God heard it and he was protecting you from it. Like that big saying that everyone says, um, you know, rejection is God's protection. I strongly believe in that <clears throat> in the past year that has been something that i have really realized and it's really resonated with me so if you're dealing with disappointment and change just know that i am praying for you and that god is with you always and you don't have to worry about it and you have abide to to help you if you need any encouragement or anything so thank you guys for listening and i hope that this spoke to some of you guys' hearts and um encourage you today